Okay, so I changed the power supply because that was one of the other last variables. We're now on the same SSD and we're still only getting the 40, 40 something frames, 45 frames per second. So power supply made no difference. Uh, maybe 50 frames, I don't know. Maybe, maybe made some difference, but hardly anything. So I could try the RAM. Oh, it's the same. I mean, it's essentially the same RAM. We've checked the solid state drive. The only other thing that's different now is the motherboard um, and, and, and the processor, right? So, I mean, these are both B450M. I almost want to... I wish I had another one of these same B450M motherboards because it just seems really unlikely that it's the motherboard that causes this much of a difference. Um, I might throw in the 30... 400G into this motherboard real quick just to test that. Okay, found our little cheap Kingston drive. We're gonna power this up. And it's booting up fine, so switching out from a you know Ryzen 3 3200G to the 3 from the 5 3400G seems to be pretty easy. So this is on the AS Rock motherboard, B450M. And that's kind of the main thing we're gonna test here is, could be the motherboard, could be something with the CPU. So let's just fire up a watch and see what happens. This feels, I mean, look, the frame rate's already at 60, so uh, could be the motherboard then. So this is on the, this is on the ASRock B450M motherboard. Um, the only other differences are, we tested the power supply, so we ruled that out, because it's on the same Kingston drive. Um, I mean, we're getting 60 frames per second. Same Corsair. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it's the motherboard. So, I, you know, I like the look of the Gigabyte one more, but maybe this AS Rock one is just out of the box way more compatible. Because, yeah, look at 60 frames per second. I mean, this feels way, way faster. 70 frames per second. Okay, so that's really interesting. So I can only get 50 frames per second on the Gigabyte B450M, but all of everything else being the same, I'm getting way better performance on the AS Rock on both with both the 3200G and the 3400G both getting about 70 frames per second so no big jump between the two cpus but it's just interesting that you know the one oh this is great yeah you know the one difference is the motherboard i can't i gotta check the. i mean there is the corsair ramp so i'm gonna check that but right now it's looking like it could be the motherboard compatibility because we're, we're gonna test the um if you can see the this is the Corsair Corsair uh, RGB Pro memory um, just to test one last thing one last variable it's the only other variable that we've haven't tested for why our frame rates were so much lower it's the exact same hard drive same power supply tested two different button boards and that seems to be the one variable we tested different we tested 3200G on this motherboard at 70 frames per second and we tested 3400G 70 frames per second on this motherboard, but only 50 frames per second on the Gigabyte motherboard. So I really want to find a great B450M motherboard. Maybe this AS Rock one is it.
because it's you know it's cheap. It doesn't have as many slots as the other one, but I don't care if it gets this type of performance. So let's uh. So here we've just changed the memory. So I just want to double check and make sure that that was the only other variable that it sh it's both Corsair 3200. I don't anticipate that being the difference here. Yeah, we're already getting 70 frames per second. Okay, so. Well, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna turn this Cooler Master one into my $400 build, um, or $500 build, because now I've got the 3400G in there and I kinda wanna keep it in there. Um, although actually, yeah, I'll figure out what I want to do, but, uh, yeah, so I think this confirms this is the motherboard to get for the 3400G, uh, the ASRock B450M HDV, I mean, I'm getting 70 frames per second when I get into the gameplay here. Uh, whereas only is able to maybe get 50 with the other one. It's the only thing that changed. So I think it just probably works better with the AMD APUs for whatever reason. Um, I mean, I'll test some higher end boards too, but yeah, 70 frames per second. This is the 3400G, but I got 70 frames per second on 3200G too. So yeah, this, this looks great. This is on medium settings. You know, I could try high, but this is probably what I'd play at. Cool.